just threw there, hmm. less than a hundred yards. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Okay, so I just bought this phone a few days ago. Okay. It's a damn good device, it's not you know. Very <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm Are you feeling comfortable or uncomfortable? I'm not comfortable, <laughs> actually. You know, yes, being sir. firm, yeah. But essentially... Um, okay, I just want to know something. Yes. Prediction. Yes. For the upcoming election. Okay. What do you think? Word on the ground, your friends and all that. What's the prediction? Who will win? I think uh, Barisan would likely just edge it. Okay. They would just edge it because uh -huh. uh, what they have is the power of incumbency. Meaning? Power of incumbency meaning that they control a lot of things. And with 56, 57 years? I don't know. 50, 57 that, years. 57 years of uh, being in power, uh -huh. it gives you an extremely lot of, uh, how do you say, advantage over any, everybody else, which is why I say it's very, very close. Um, but that said, I think on the ground, um, as one of my staff told me, you know, when you have a broom which is 50 years old, it's not going to work very well. <laughs> I think that's the best way to put it. Unless it's upgraded. La. Unless, it's Unless upgraded. there's genuine Unless, change. That's right. Yeah. Change from within. You believe in that? Change from within. Um, I think... Um, that's my, what he's preaching, you know, the Prime Minister. Yeah, that's he's what he's saying preaching. that he's I think one of the most important things is to preach is one thing. Uh -huh. uh, I think the Prime Minister, he himself, he's fine. Mm -hmm. All around him, that's not fine. But it starts from leadership, you know, the top. And uh, generally, well, 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 that's I mean, a, that's the problem with uh, 50, 57 years in being in power. People tend to get let power go to their head, and that's the problem. And it's not just necessarily just the prime minister, but everybody else, uh, all the way down. So even if one guy wants to change, it's going to take at least one, two generations. Even even if the opposition takes over, it's going to be the same. A lot of things won't change, but you will. But take there some will time. be more hostility, right? One, uh, there will be more instability. Economic wise, and uh, there really ought not to be the way I look at it. But now itself, they are fighting, right? So if there's more power in the opposition, won't they start fighting more in the uh, in the parliaments? And won't it happen like what happens in 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 uh, Korea and you know even in India? It starts getting physical. Well, I think that that's the the, uh, the hallmark of a uh, a civil society is one whereby you don't have to resort to those levels. Um, and uh, I think we're just only starting to try to rise above the old style of politics which we've been practicing over the last 57 years. And unfortunately, it's very race-based sort of uh, politics that we practice, which cannot be right. I mean, you know... Is that, you think, the main reason why people are supporting the opposition? The fact that it's going away from race-based party and one-party system? Yes, I would think so. I, I, I think it's, it's a whole lot of things that we, we, we tan to forget because we, we take a lot of things for granted. But when you look at it, say back in the 60s, in America, if somebody told you that you have a black president, they will laugh at you. Yeah. Now what has happened? Yeah. You know? And it took something like 50 years for mm. that to happen. Now we have gone 50 years now. I think it's about time we have our change as well. Mm -hmm. And a change is only good. Do you think it's possible now, I mean, for there to be a non-Muslim uh, prime minister? Now? I think is that possible? it is not possible for the simple reason I think uh, is it? it is probably written in our constitution that you can't. Um, I, I could be wrong there. But no, no, I spoke to a very, uh, uh, what do you call this, prominent politician yes. and he said that no, nothing saying that you can't. Yeah. Before in the 50s, there was, uh, you know, the deputy prime minister was a Chinese guy, right? That's right, yes. Yeah. Yep. So for it a very short while, yes. Yep. So it yes. acting prime minister and yeah. you know, it has happened so I Yeah. So if, 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 if there's really nothing written on that, hmm. why not? Um, I think Deng Xiaoping once said that it doesn't matter what colour the cat is, as long as the cat catches the mouse. Mm -hmm. And that's the main thing. So would you like to stand for our Prime Minister? I will definitely support <laughs> you in any possible way I can. Huh? Well, Are you up to the job? Because it's hard work, you know. It, it, is, it is hard work and yeah. uh, you need a lot of commitment. You need people around you. Your family is going to support you. So it ain't going to be easy. And uh, personally, I would... We will find it difficult just to be a member of parliament, <laughs> let alone a prime minister. Yeah, but but I mean, what what do you do now? Um, <laughs> I work in. Uh, well, I, I have my own business. Now. That's the best. So way you're like, yeah. like a strategist. Well, I'm, I'm not a strategist. Uh, I, I I do give some consultancy. Sort of. Do you uh, think there's a way to uh, win over the hearts and minds of the Chinese in these next seven days? 
I think pretty much the hearts and minds of the Chinese have been made up, I think. I would say about 80% no, they, would have already made up as to who they were going to vote for. But there's always a way, right? There if you, is There's always a, a strategy for everything. Yes, unfortunately, uh -huh. I don't think we have the best minds. Uh -huh. um, no, but let's share our mind. Because my, you know what I think? Yeah. If these guys come clean, yeah. they go and say, hey, we are sorry for whatever we've done. Yeah. We listen to you. We get a lot of feedback. We yes. realize the Chinese community is unhappy. Yes. You know, with the way things are run, and we are yeah. very grateful for what they have done for the country. Yes. You know, yeah. they they control the seventy percent of the economy, so they can't actually complain that you know uh, well, they they can't complain that they are not doing well economically. Yeah. But in other aspects, of course, we realize. You have so to realize. We commit to change from within. Yeah. And we are here to serve you. Please give us one more chance. Okay. Will the All Chinese right. community? I, 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 um, I may. I, I do obviously do not speak for the majority of the Chinese or even all of the Chinese in Malaysia. But the thing is, from my observation, I think it's very clear that the Chinese are very self-sufficient and very, very. Um, how do you say? They they rise above. I actually hate to say the Chinese do this and do that because that in itself sounds a bit of a very race-based sort of a thing. But unfortunately, that's how things are. Um, the fact remains is that the Chinese, whatever you throw... Yeah, you, what, no, it's not just appreciation. Whatever you throw at the Chinese, um, or for that matter, any race, they will work at it. They will work hard at it. Now, I'm not just talking about Chinese. Any race, you look at the Jews, they were, they were the most persecuted of all the, the races around the world. You know, they are the richest in the world as well as we know it now. So... And I think the more you persecute a race, the harder they work. You see, so it's a case of now, the Chinese, look, we have our own Chinese schools, we have our own uh, business, we have almost everything. You no, know, if the government is not doing enough for, for education, we set up our own school or we send our kids to private schools. And everything, you know, we do it ourselves, you see. So, what is the government going to do now that's going to change anything? Not that much as far as the Chinese are concerned. So what they will do is they will say, that we just put you out, hopefully, we don't have to work so hard anymore. You know, it's quite tiring, you know. I think that's basically it. You see, so if you're going to say that within the next seven days that, you know, they can do something that will, you if know, they are sincere, change the way. Now, I think sincerity has because to be Because the earned. other day, you yeah. see, the other day, you know, I haven't gone for much of the opposition talks, to yes. be honest. Yeah. But I went for Nuru Liza's one the other day. Yes. I generally like her. You know, I think okay. she's, uh, yeah. she's a good leader. She's yes. got very warm and all that. Yes. And so I've met Rajan Nong Chik. He also very warm. His wife is Chinese, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a uh, very nice gentleman. Yes. So, and... You, you, you must understand, you know, when you are a politician, the way I look at it, right, you, you have to be overall a nice person, uh, or at least at face value anyway, you know, to be able to at least uh, go over the, the first no, few obstacles. No, but there are a lot of yeah. them who don't even have a personality which suits them. Oh, well, I'm who, sure, I'm sure, <laughs> yeah, not. But, but the fact remains that they are still there, see? so, so, uh -huh. the, 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 the uh, yeah, so... But, but I think, that, like I said, you know, going back to your original question was, can anything be done, you know, whether it's sincerity or, you know, promises or what? I think... Um, if promise, if the Prime Minister made a promise that, okay, we are going to look into this, this, this issues, and we are sorry, yeah. give us another chance, yeah. you know, like you said, the power of what? Incumbency. That's a very yeah. strong word. Yeah, yeah, you, it's, it's there. <laughs> yeah. So, since it's already there, yeah. it is about now sentiments, right? Yeah. Um, I feel because when I'm talking to the Chinese community, yeah. they just feel unappreciated. Yeah. You know, they feel uh, like uh, they are not actually part of Malaysia. You know, so they have created their own world, their independent. Like their, I said, yeah. Whatever businesses they have, right, they have yeah. taken it abroad. Yes, they you have. Know, they are yes. creators. Yes. So they they don't need the government anymore. In a way, yes. You know. In a way, yes. Yes. So yes. that's why they thought. What the hell? Well, so I changed the government. Hopefully, it's but, even better. You know, but you know what I'm concerned about? Yes. Honestly, because I'm bipartisan okay. in spirit. All right. Okay. You know? Yeah. What I'm worried about is, I, I'm a, I, I have this obsession for unity. Yes. Because I feel unity leads to good governance. Of course. Now, okay, that, that's a very good point that you have there. I think um, when, you, when you think hard about it, right, we have 57 years of race-based politics. So, when you change hopefully we will move away from race base and when you move away from race